Hi, my name is Mike Foley. I work in the vSphere Tech Marketing Group. My focus is on vSphere security. We're going to do a little whiteboard session on VM encryption and vMotion encryption, a new feature of vSphere 6.5. So with VM encryption, the big takeaway is I want to be able to encrypt a virtual machine without modifying the virtual machine at all. Well, vMotion encryption happens within the ESXi hypervisor. So when I create a virtual machine, I can apply the, the encryption policy to the virtual machine, and then all data coming out of the virtual machine will go through the encryption filter before it gets written to the storage. Now, it also means it's storage independent. So the, it, the VM files can be on vSAN, can be on iSCSI, can be on NFS. There's no problem there. So how does this work? Well, as I said, you right-click on a virtual machine and you apply the encryption policy. When you apply the encryption policy, ESXi will generate a key. That's called the data encryption key. That key is then encrypted with a key from a third-party key, uh, key manager. I've set up a trust between vCenter and the KMS. The KMS generates another key. That key is sent through vCenter, through here, and then encrypts the data encryption key. This is called the key encryption key. When I do that, that DEC, that disk encryption key, is added to a key cache within ESX. But I have an HA cluster here. What happens is vCenter says, you're in an HA cluster. That's my security boundary. So I'm going to add that key into the key cache of all members of the HA cluster. So if I have an HA event and vCenter is unable is not available and is unable to get to the key manager, the VM will easily start up on another, on another ESXi host. That's great. So next we're going to talk about vMotion encryption. vMotion encryption doesn't use the KMS. When I right click on the virtual machine and select vMotion encryption, I'm going, vCenter will generate a one-time use key, so it'll be a 256-bit key and a 64-bit nuts. That is added to the migration spec and sent to both hosts. Now what happens is the data, the, the virtual machine's memory data, is now encrypted and sent over to the other host. No management of keys because that's a one-time use only key. Once that vMotion completes, that key, which is not persisted, is tossed. I hope this makes understanding vMotion encryption and VM encryption a lot easier for you. Thank you very much for your time.